Nimble Reptile, probably one of the most stylish characters in the game, and we do know that Stunner has those stylish Reptile combos on deck, uh, and he's very consistent with them. This is the first time, though, that we have seen Stunner in a top 8 for ESL. So, best of luck to both guys. Obviously, you know, uh, best man wins and all that, but yeah, there's these guys dollars and a bunch of points on the line. These guys have a lot of characters covered. You know, they have a lot of characters covered between them. So, Stunner, it's going to be Reptile versus Lunatic. He's going to be popping Kung Lao. Oh, there's that back too. Bags himself first hit, uses the bar. Corner carry, gets the damage, 30%. Oh, meter burn. And that's a guaranteed he us about it. Here comes a conversion. Oh, so much damage. Oh, 50%. Okay. Okay. Wow. That's fine. 50% damage though. Half life just like that. Uses his bar, but is that, is that a flawless victory? That's going to be a flawless. Wow. Good stuff. What, an, oh, what a way. Word. What a way to make your mark on ESL. Round one, flawless victory, that pro stunner. Absolute annihilation. There's the down two whip punish on the teleport as well. Really good reactions. Doesn't get the confirm for there for the damage, but again, you know, really starting this off with a demanding lead. Oh, that's the string that everyone gets hit by. He's going to go for conversion. Has no bar, so he's going to have to just take that damage. What it is. Oh, oh wow. Meter bone span before he'd even left the ground, though, as well. A big to, read for I don't know. To me, toughness. I don't know. To me, that suggests fear. That really suggests fear. That and ball the isn't ball. going away. Oh, is he going to come off it? He's keeping it there. Here it comes! Here it comes! He combos off it! What?! This is 2v1. This is literally 2v1 right now. That ball is another player. And wow, just like that game that's, won. That entire... <laughs> that entire sequence. That entire sequence. Oh my days. Oh my days. If oh my days describes a single play of this tournament. Sorry for headphone users out there, by the way. I could not help myself, but... The style didn't stop. It was, it, oh, amazing, amazing 50% in round one. And then he has the force ball on the far side and carries it all the way across. He, he, he and walked him. He, he walked. He walked him. To, he walked him to the corner because there was a ball just constantly just going. I'm on my way. I'm, I'm coming you better, to get you. You better be blocking. No, I, no, I'm no. on my way. I'm on my way. No, he's like, all no. right, all right. Yo, come on no, then. No, and then no, no, he's no. building the uh, <laughs> taking chip damage. And yes, as predicted, he's opted to go straight for Hishkuden and Predator. This is the interesting thing because, um, like I said, so his main is... He mains these other characters, but then has this pocket Hishkaton for when he feels like a matchup is bad. However, Stunner has his Reptile on lockdown, and I don't know. How well is the armor breaking properties of Reptile? I've never really seen this matchup I, before. I don't think Reptile breaks armor very well. I know that um, apparently Noxious can do it sometimes with the aura, but you know, clearly we're not going to be seeing Noxious right now. Interesting. Okay, so I actually don't know how to call this matchup, um, but Stunner, I, I assume he's familiar with it. I've seen him fight Predators in the past, so all tagged by the overhead again. Oh, down four into meter burn shot. Drops the conversion. That's not what we want to be seeing. Oh, no fuzzy guarding. That is the string that everyone gets hit by. And that's a guaranteed meter burn. Uh, we've, we've seen him talk about that in the past, but there we go. Oh, such damage from that. Amazing stuff. See, normally, stunner. Yeah, normally we see reptile players kind of end combos in the uh, the slow shot, but then here comes the 50-50 game, and he gets tagged. There we go. That's not going to take it, but he's in a good situation right now. Good cancels. Oh, no, no, so he's not plus and goes for it. Really oh, good stuff. Oh, that's a, such a tight link. Oh, literally, literally from one corner to the other. That was 100% corner carry. Oh. What is this? Stunner takes another round of Costas and Harris. He started that with a forward four, cornered to the right, and ends with a... Uh, Predator corner to the left. Oh, the reeds. Costas, he's opting to save the bar. What are these? This is probably the swaggiest display of nimble I've ever seen. Guess I wake up, jump out to get out. Good read from Costas. But here comes. Oh, Bro Stunner. Catches the blocks. No block at that low. time. Oh, interesting decision. I think he just wants to send him full screen so the zoning can begin. He's got to be careful with the zoning here. And there's the meter burn. Oh, oh wow. Back, back to, to back. back. NJP. Interesting play from Costas, but it works out for him. Oh, and he tries to go for a jump. Costas lives to fight another day. He's got another round on the table. Uh, it, it's a question of really who's going to enforce whose game. Costas really gets going when the lasers get oh, on there. Oh, there's the trip guard with a forward two. Ain't going to bag massive damage, but you know, tell a lie, 33% is not bad. But again, the corner carry, no armor on that as well. So good meaty from, uh, from Pro Stunner to just get rid of that bar and trade it out. Oh, and there we go. That again, the string that everyone gets hit by. I love that little walk forward just to reposition the corner as well. Oh, oh finishes the whole string. Ops to go for a down three, though. Ops trying not to go for any other sort of punish. But a good delay wake up there from... Uh, and there we go. Pro Stunner gets another combo. Here we go. Here comes the conversion. This could be it. I think he uses the bar to try and get a bit more damage, but not quite enough. Unfortunately, quite poorly calculated. But we'll still be able to close out this round with a few uh, a few bits of chip damage. But Costas looking to bring this one back. Oh, oh there we go. Him. This could be it. 
Oh, but drops the conversion. Oh! No! That, again, a bit of a scramble at the end there. Costas really not enforcing his game. A very tense exchange, but uh, Prostan manages to bring it up to 2-0. Are we going to see him stick with Predator, or do you reckon we're going to see him go back to one of his other characters? I don't know. I mean, he obviously did better with Predator there. Um, I guess it depends on what his confidence level is with Predator compared to his other mains. Because if he mains three other characters and then plays Predator for when the matchup doesn't work, it's kind of interesting because um, he finds himself in a situation where it worked out for him, but if he hasn't got the confidence with his other characters, it might not be the same. But I, I don't know. I mean, he's, he's can, been changing. Can we talk about the corner with literally 100% corner carry? You mean the combo with 100% corner carry? Yeah. Yeah. That was insane. 100%. That was insane. He was cornered, got a forward four, confirmed into meter burn slow, and then just the thing is pushed him. The man. forward, I think it's the forward four two one or something like that, that kind of string. Four, forward forward four one two is the, yeah, that's uh, the one, that's knee one. slap. Doing the Slap. meter burn nimble into that is is not a tight link. It's actually quite tight. The fact that Sonic got that, I'm really impressed by. His execution so far has been so phenomenal. Absolutely insane stuff, but three games, and he's now locked into Sub-Zero as well, so he's going to have to make a three-game comeback with this sub. Unfortunately, he Ooh. is going to be going home. He is going to walk right into that clone. I mean, Stunner's really going to have to slow it down. I like the idea of changing to Grandmaster because uh, this really explosive play. From... I actually thought that was going to combo from the Essence bit. I thought it did. Oh, wow, a really wonderful. smart play there from uh, Costas. Oh, oh no, no. Drops it, though. That's what we absolutely cannot be seeing right now. I and think I, I he like may have that. predicted a clone. That, on must, that must have been a bait, because Stunner, I'm, I'm almost certain, predicted right there like a clone. Um, but I think Costa's wise to it, just blocking, waiting for that. Another drop him. that could punish him this time, though. Oh, slides under it. Good reactions. Oh, catches the cross up. Here comes Stunner. And that's completely safe. And there's the counter poke. Oh, these, um, these are some really, really smart conversions from Sunner. And there's the repositioning into grab. He's still going to be alive. It's no, Costas. no, that is absolutely going to be round oh, one. Oh, wow, that must have only absolutely. just been the amount. Match point to Stunner. Has the swing to get out of the corner, but, you know, Niptile... Uh, <laughs> Niptile Remble, oh my word. Niptile Remble. Nimble, <laughs> nimble, nimble <laughs> Reptile just has that crazy conversion that doesn't really matter where he gets you. If he's got bar, he is going to put you to the corner anyway. Yeah, I mean, that's what, again, like, he's just one of these characters that has... And there we go, here comes the force ball. When he gets hit, trying to go for that conversion. That, that force ball's just got his back. That's just like, he summons a good friend, and it doesn't let him down. I got you, bro. Here we go, conversion. And there's the knockdown. Opt to go for that. Prioritizes the force ball over the slide, just for the knockdown pressure. I like that. Jump kick, just to make the clone disappear. No cags and force him to sit there and block it. Oh, a trade. That's not going to be good for Stunner. Uh, Costas only spends a little bit of a sprint, and he just goes for... I think he went for that combo just because he did not want to risk dropping it. Oh, oh that's really smart slide, actually. That could even be the game. No, not quite. That would have been if he didn't get it, but uh, Pro Stunner will move on 3-0. Can you imagine that last thing at the end? Just meter burn, meter burn slow. <laughs> did you just hear the fatality I, music I, slow I down when you did that? <laughs> I did, but uh, that started off meter burn slow down in the neutral as he threw something, which was, okay, cool. I'm getting a combo from this full screen ice ball. I like that play. I really like that play, but that final play right at the end, that, that final play, right at the end, where he went for the meter burn uh, slowdown, but then immediately went for the slide. Because bear in mind, when you're in that nimble state, you can't block. He used the slowdown when he saw that there was an ice ball on the screen. He only had one option, and he had to be quick